Alright guys, in this video we're going to be installing a Memphis Shades pop top windscreen on my wife's 2021 Honda Rebel 1100. See right there. So from what I understand, if you go to Memphis Shades website, they don't have anything for the Honda Rebel 1100. But reading through some of the forums, it sounds like if you order the hardware kit for the 2017, 15 to 17 Rebel 500, it'll work. So this is the... Memphis Shades hardware for a Rebel 500 and it's a MEB 2031 and this is the I believe it's a called a pop top windscreen she got it in the dark smoke There you can see the so this is the darkest one I believe they make um, in at least this windscreen so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna kinda just set this up on this chair and see if I can figure it out I don't have a bench or anything in my garage it's a absolute mess so bear with me So it's my understanding, uh, reading through the instructions, that in this kit they gave us a relocation hardware to relocate the turn signals. Now I'm going to try to not have to do that. So I'm going to try to put the windscreen and leave the turn signals where they are and see how they look. Um, if the windscreen is in the way, then I'll obviously have to, to move them. So right now I'm just installing the, uh, the brackets that go on the fork tubes. I put this one on I believe it was the second one so not this notch but the second notch I didn't really read the instructions so let's see how this goes strip anything. Loosening these up because this is fully adjustable. Uh, looks like at least an inch. So you can tilt the windscreen forward or back. I guess if you're getting too much head buffeting, uh, you can tilt the windscreen more in line with the forks, and it should, at least in theory, uh, eliminate or at least help with that wind buffeting. It also depends on how tall the windscreen is compared to how tall you are. So 
So if you look on this side is open. But if you go over to this side, there is a box there. Now I'm guessing that box is kind of there to help clean up the uh, wiring. But I think it's going to be in my way. So let's see what I'm going to do with that. actually pretty simple wasn't actually in the way at all I just uh, there's a opening at the bottom that's a little wider than the rest and I basically started down there and brought it up take these grommets these are rubber I believe I have to take those apart on this and insert them into these holes I'm just squeezing it like that jamming it in the hole, flipping it over and so now I gotta get the last two and I'm just using the tools they gave me. Say it comes out, it's slotted. And this is that rubber grommet, and that just slides off. Now I'm just going to pop these back in. What I'm doing is I'm just putting these on to find where they're happy. Two and then three. The last 
piece of cake and you go, I wish I knew this in the first place. But, so I'm making a video. Now watch I put this on backwards. All right, they're snug, they're not finished product tight. I'm gonna do this again. We're gonna see how it goes. That bottom goes in there. The bottom goes in there. Then everything moved on me, so. You can see I put it on there and the blinkers are being blocked. Is it a big deal? I don't know, but it could get annoying. So, plus I can't rotate uh, this one back any further because it's actually touching the light. So, I'm going to pause this video and get back to you when I can figure out how to take these lights off. Alright, well... With those change of plans, I had to move the turn signals down, and it was fairly easy, but a pain in the butt. So, and this is the hardware they give you, it's kind of whatever. So, but I don't know if you can see in there. They were right when they were talking about this being welded. There's an acorn nut back here that's actually welded to the frame or the triple clamp or whatever. It actually gives you four of those rectangular uh, washers but they're too thick either that I got or I got to go out and buy longer allen bolts because I wasn't actually able to get the second one behind that so the acorn nuts actually pressed up against the rubber and over time it's gonna wear through and that's why they give you two pieces of metal to squish the rubber together so I'll have to go find some longer Allen bolts or some thinner washers. I also had to take off this Which was holding this up and It's bolted in I'm gonna put it back on now, but it's bolted in Right there And that pushes this back into here and holds you know that up so now to just put the windscreen on all right so I moved them down I refitted everything again so now give a lot more play yeah, you'll be able to see here once I put this on Thank you. 
What I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to follow this angle with the fourth line as best I can. It looks like that's with these pulled forward all the way, and the top one's pulled back all the way. So I'm going to take these down. See there, it's about three quarters of an inch. And then I gap down here an inch and a quarter. And then you see here, there's probably an inch of play of adjustment. So what I did is I tried to follow this line with the forks. So that brought this all the way forward on both ends and this one all the way back and then I tighten these uh, I still got to put this thing on but I'm gonna bring her out here and see what she thinks I'm gonna snug these up I don't think I uh, tighten these all the way down I don't know they're pretty dang tight so that grommet isn't actually compressing, it's metal on metal. The grommet's actually a barrier, so there's no pressure being applied to the front side and the back side. It's pretty nice. Hope she likes it. I'll get her out here and see what her opinion is. All right, I'm gonna record her going down the road and then have her come back without the windscreen on. And then we'll put the windscreen on and see how she feels after that. So yeah, I'm just waiting for her to come back. I had her do a loop around, probably about a mile loop, mile and a half, uh, just so she gets a baseline of what it feels like in 45 degree weather with nothing but a helmet on. And then we'll put the windscreen on and see what uh, the difference is. if there's any, and if we have to make any adjustments. Here she comes. Tell me your experience. <laughs> well, it's very cold right in here. I'm probably red. Um, my hands are cold, obviously, but that's not going to change anything. But it's just cold. It's just right here, and obviously my chest 
If I didn't have a coat on, it would be very cold. Did um, you ride with your helmet and visor down the whole time on this? Yeah. Okay. That's how I usually ride. But All right. When I have the when we put that thing on, I'll move it. All right. Well, we're gonna go get the windscreen, and I'll be back. It's very easy. Do you need me to get off? No. Hmm. Okay, so how do you want me to ride? The same route you took. You want me to flip this, you said? Keep that down. And then halfway through the ride, when you get up to speed, lift it up and tell me if you feel any air hitting your eyeballs. Okay. Because we'll have to adjust it accordingly. We'll probably have to lift it up again. But... See you back in a minute. Dave had to feel cool. He wanted to ride the new windscreen, even though it's not high enough. <laughs> he looks like a big man on the little bike because it's not made for him. <laughs> Alright. So, we took it on a couple spins. She went around town with it off, with it on, and then I went just down the street with it off and on and we actually adjusted it so originally this was all the way back and this was all the way back or no this was all the way forward and this was all the way back now they're both all the way as far back as they can go so you can tell the fork goes this way and this is actually up in the air more Again, it's a 17 and a half inch windscreen. And when I ride it, being six feet tall, in the position I ride it, it hits me right about above my eyebrows. But she swears up and down that it hits her right in her eyeballs, but she sits straight up when she rides. So, I'm going to ask her a couple questions and get her opinion on it. Alright, let's get your opinion. It's your bike. Um, so, my opinion is it's better now that we've tilted it or however, whatever he did to fix it. Um, like he said, I sit straight up as a rider. He slouches into his bike. I don't, I don't know how he does that, but... Um, I, I tend to sit straight. Maybe it's a girl thing. I don't know. But, um, so I, I feel like this is a little low for me still. Um, but it does hit me, like, right in here. I can feel the wind the most. Um, but I wear a helmet anyway, so it's kind of... Yeah, that's, just, her, that's her helmet. It's just helpful on the chest because we were out the other day and it was very cold on my chest area here so yeah i think it's great um it definitely helps it definitely you can definitely feel the difference when you take it off <laughs> um even on your hands like it doesn't do anything for the hands but it does help i feel like a little deflection there um totally worth it i may or may not keep it on in the summer because i like the wind in the summer but um, when it's chilly like it is here in Ohio it's nice to have for sure um, a little PSA 
For everyone out there, watch out for motorcyclists. I had a small scare on my little rendezvous around the town and please just be very careful. It's getting warm out and there's motorcyclists and our reaction time, we don't have anything around us. So if you swerve us off the road, it could be very deadly. So just a little PSA because I thought I, it was rough that moment, <laughs> um, but I'm okay. So yeah, I think it's good and I will definitely use it and keep it for the winter. Um, and the chillier, chillier rides, obviously, but I may or may not take it off in the summer. He thinks I'll keep it on, but we'll see. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. I I'm thought, really I, I didn't know how good it That I went with a darker one for the black bike. Because I originally was going to get a clear one, and I really like the dark with my bike. Yeah, from a distance, you can't even tell it's a windscreen. It looks more like a, it almost looks like a club style fairing from a distance. So, I think it looks cool. I think she might like it a little more than she thinks, but we'll see. She hasn't been on the freeway yet. We just kind of ride around town, so. Yeah, but I will be riding it to work now that I'm working outside the house, so I definitely need something to uh, help. Because it's cold. Alright, and with that being said... Like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy it. Till the next one. Bye.